everybody, how you doing? It's your boy from Brooklyn, Chef Shannon Ambrosio. And then you know what I'm working on? My office area in the front, entryway into the house. And I'm going to show you how we wire up the recessed lights, okay? These are the recessed lights here that I'm using. They come in a little closer here. So these are recessed lights that are used for pre-existing construction. That's what you want, right? So what happens is these go inside the openings that I cut out. Remember, each one of these lights comes with a template, try not to tear it, a template to uh, make the hole in the ceiling that you need. But this is one of the most important things, right? Now, if you don't have much knowledge of how to wire things up, it comes with instructions, folks. It comes with instructions. You can't go <laughs> wrong. I think it's in like 17 different languages. Hold on. I'm going to make a spectacle of myself. You ready? You ready? You ready? Okay. Look. Uh, so it's in English on one side and Spanish on the other. So look. Comes with instructions. Step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this. Come on. You don't need to hire somebody to do this. Your boy from Brooklyn is going to show you how to shape and save a shit ton of money, right? So look. Need the instructions? No. All right, we we'll get rid of that. But here is what they call recess lights, pot lights, can lighting, whatever you want to call it. This is six inch. So like I said, I'm putting one in each corner of the room, six inch can, and I'm putting those LED uh, lights in these things. They last like forever, you know? Plus lower electricity, right? So you're gonna save some money right there too. So your boy's saving you money twice, right? I'm gonna save you a shit ton of money times two. So look, come a little closer. How this works, right? Remember, electricity works like this. You have to complete a full circle, you know, and in this case, a square, right? But you have to connect all your wires together to, a, to the power. So the power is coming from there in the center of the room I showed you before. My power is there. So what I have to do is wire all these cans up together, all these pot lights, and don't worry, we'll get to the pot later too. Um, all these cans up together and then basically take the power from there, stretch it over to that one light that's hanging there, and then that's gonna give me my power to light all of these. Now they'll all be on that switch that's located on the wall that runs this, that's where the power switch is. But what I'll do is I'll put a fixture in the center of the room now that has like a ceiling fan and a light fixture on it so I can have a pull chain to shut that fixture off so I don't have to have all the lights on at one time. But the fact of putting the LED in here is really going to uh, save money on your electric bill. So you'll see, come in here, come closer, you'll see the wires inside here, correct? So remember, you have the black is hot, white is neutral, and the one wire in there that's loose, you'll see here, again I'm using my Lyman pliers, you'll see here, as I strip this off, you have the white, the black, and the ground, okay? So hot, neutral, ground. Everything has to be grounded, okay? Inside the pot light, which I love, I have my little handy dandy electrician's tool pouch there, right? You'll notice here, all the wires are inside here. Now I'll show you, there's a clip. That's what they might make pockets for on your pants, right? Boy, I just dropped my teeth. Uh, hold on right there. So your pockets hold everything, right? So inside here, you'll see you open up the door. Hello, 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 hello. All right. Inside there, you'll see the wires. Look, just like what's in the wires that are up here, you have a hot, neutral, and then a ground. The great thing about this, man, you don't have to be a genius to this. Match the colors. Come on, folks. Well, if, unless you're colorblind, <laughs> you should have no problem wiring these up. So basically, I'll show you. You strip a little bit of the wire. You push it down in there and it clicks into place. Clicks into place and it doesn't come out and you're good to good to go right there. And then you have electricity to all these things. So what I like to do is get all these things wired up and here's a helpful hint, right? So I have wire strippers here. You see these? Look, and that's for the gauge wire that you have. You put the wire inside the gauge that it is you close it and then you strip it off. I'll show you. So you'll see here, right? I have my black wire. This is 14 gauge wire. So I know 
that I have to put it in the number 14 here. Come on, this is not rocket science. And I only want to have a little bit more than a quarter of an inch, like close to a half inch strip. So I press and pull. You see? Let's get a little bit more. Put it in the number 14 there. That's three notches down. I'm going to strip just a little bit more. And look at that. You see? Strips right off. We do the same with the white. Boom. You don't have to strip that one. It comes stripped already. Right? So inside the can light, you'll notice, let's take out my trusty screwdriver, you'll notice that on the bottom, there's knockouts. These are called knockouts. Okay? That's as if you have big roll, if, if you have big BX cable, the metal cable, right? So you'll have to put a, a cable holder in there as well. But over here, they have these really nice knockouts. So basically, you take your flathead screwdriver, twist this back and forth a few times. Done. You're gonna do two of them because we have two wires going in. The great thing about these here is that they have these little holders on them inside here. So basically, I can feed my wire, the Romex that's up there, through these knockout openings. And you'll notice there's another piece of metal, piece of metal on the inside. And basically, it holds the Romex where it needs to be. You'll see. So as I start to slide this in, You'll see here, right? I start to push this in. Boom. The wire starts to go through. And you want to make sure that you're putting these wires. As you push this through, make sure you leave this uh, insulation on there. Because metal to wire, you know, to the exposed wire is not good. You don't want that pinching or anything. But the great thing about this is that it kind of self-catches itself. So I can push this through now, fold this up, and it basically will hold my light in place so I can wire with bull hands. Remember, don't wire these things if you have the line electric to them. There's no electricity going to any of these yet. So I can work on this very easy. So you'll notice here, again, like I said before, this is real easy stuff. So black to black, look, it has these little slots. Remember I showed you before? You just take this wire, and you push it in, and it locks in place. Done, right? You take the white wire, again. Pushing that in, find the hole, we all need to find the hole right there. All right, in it goes, and it stays. And then, of course, the ground, you know? Really that simple, folks. That's all you have to do. And it's in. So white to white, black to black, ground to ground. And then you're done. And I'll hook up the next wire just like that. And it has enough for four different uh, connections. So you can have a lot of lights hooked up at one time, right? So listen to me, folks. Once this is all done, this is the opening. This is going to get pushed up in there. This flange will sit in there really nice. I'll show you next time when, we do, when I run the home run, the power to this. So this way we can light them up and you can see everything works. But I'm telling you, this is not hard stuff to do. Make sure there's no power going to Don't electrocute yourself. And if you do, don't blame me. All right, all right. Now listen to me. Tune into my YouTube channel. Follow, subscribe, make comments, anything you want. But I'm telling you, your boy from Brooklyn is going to save you a shit ton of money.